Gender-based violence and harmful practices against women and girls are a daily occurrence that has claimed the lives of some, while some are afraid to seek help as a result of societal and family rejection and the stigma attributed to being a victim. Today, survivors of such are sought after and encouraged to speak out and seek help in a bid to assist and empower others through the help of NGOs and international organizations. The Women's Helping Hands Initiative, an NGO founded by Her Excellency, the wife of the Vice President, Mrs. Dolakbo Osibanjo, is collaborating with new NFPA, United Nations Population Fund, as a partner in a bid to end gender-based violence and harmful practices against women and girls in Nigeria. UNFPA is implementing Spotlight Initiative in Nigeria by working with other partners such as Lay Luke, in a bid to put an end to these practices by promoting sexual and reproductive health and rights, the availability and use of quality data, and strengthen access to inclusive, timely, and quality services for survivors. This has led to the STEAM flagship onboarding program for women and girls. STEAM is an acronym for Sexual Reproductive Health Rights Information, Technology Skills for Sales and Marketing, Ending violence against women and girls and harmful practices, information, accounting and business management skills, and manufacturing and startup support. The same flagship program took place at the Leilu Corporate Office here in Lagos, Nigeria. The Women's Helping Hand Initiative welcomes you all to the onboarding event of our Step Up Leilu Long Term Recovery Skill Acquisition Training Program. One of the five thematic areas of the Women's Helping Hand Initiative is the empowerment of women and girls. The Women's Helping Hand Initiative Step Up Skill Acquisition Project equips women, girls, and youth with skills they can easily translate into an income. I remember today the first set of women that were trained and equipped with skills in Koramo, the red light district in Lagos, in May 2006. The training helped many of the survivors to escape the deadly clutch of those who traffic and expose them to all forms of violence. Today, some of the beneficiaries depend on the income from this skill to fend for themselves and their children because of that intervention 15 years ago. The STEAM flagship is an innovation of UNFPA Nigeria and the Women's Helping Hand Initiative. The flagship is being implemented as part of the Spotlight Initiative Long-Term Recovery Intervention for survivors of gender-based violence and harmful practices. Under the STEAM flagship, vulnerable young women and girls and survivors, and survivors of gender-based violence and harmful practices are being enrolled today into a free six-month program in the Loop Bank Academy, a manufacturing and a training hub of a leading international bank and accessory-making industry which produces for export and in-country sales using African fabrics. The event drew the attention of Her Excellency Mrs. Dolakbo Sibanjo and other foreign and local dignitaries from UNFPA, the United Nations, the European Union and partners who participated fiscally and online for the successful implementation of the flagship program as they gave pep talks to the beneficiaries of the program. I want to congratulate each and every one of you for being selected as being beneficiaries to this program. We just heard that it has been a competitive process, which means you've done well. I also think it means that you have demonstrated, as survivors of gender-based violence, that you will move on. You will not be defined by the crimes that happened to you. You take back control. And the powerful thing about this is that nothing is scarier to a perpetrator Nothing is scarier than the, for, for the person who did this to you than meeting you and seeing that you are more than a survivor. You are an empowered woman who has taken your dignity back, who does not accept to be defined by what he did to you. You have taken control of your life back. That is scary because that is also part of what will end impunity.
What you take out of here, this is just a stepping stone for you to be able to quantify yourself, for you to be able to do something with your life, and for you to be able to take that, the power that has been given back to you so that you know that no one has the right to actually make you feel less than who you are. So please, I will dare you to take all these experiences. Let it not be to waste because people are, you know, you know, putting all this thing together, resources, trying to make sure that you can have a better life, you can better yourself and also your family. Because they say if you train one woman, we know like different villages are all springing up from you. Because you'll be able to take care of your family, your kids, and also your community as well. So please absorb all the knowledge that you're taking out from there, reproduce, magnify, teach another person, spread the word, and also let your people, let other people know that if you're expressing any form of violence, there is help available, and show them how they can get the help, and also share your experience as well. Today we stand on the edge of tomorrow. As the STEAM program is flagged off, it's a new dawn in the lives of these 12 ladies. They are the precious 12. Precious 12 young ladies. Yes, they are precious. They are precious indeed and special. They are survivors of gender based violence. But that was yesterday. And here we find ourselves in today, on the edge of tomorrow. I salute the UNFPA Spotlight Initiative and the Women's Helping Hands Initiative, Muluk, Kagomi, and all other stakeholders at this STEAM flagship event. When we consider their yesterday, the horrors, the pain, the tears, it's all gone. Today, they stand on the edge of tomorrow, and we know that tomorrow is very bright indeed. To our precious 12, always remember, you are precious. The opportunity you are given today is precious. It's a glorious tomorrow. Be determined, be passionate about your training. Be dutiful, be punctual, and give it your best. To our precious 12, for that's how I see them in my mind. Can you see all that you need has been provided for you already? Consider all the people who are around you today. All the help, all the resources, all the support that has been made available to you. Tell your heart to be happy. Make sure you smile. Make sure you laugh because you are precious. See, see yourself as a proud owner of a business, employing others to work with you and for you. See yourself as earning more than enough to take care of yourself and others also. How precious you are indeed. What a precious future before you. From today when they ask you, what is your name? You should say, my name is Bosset Precious. You should say, my name is Ukuti Precious. You should add Precious to the end of your name, because that is who you are. The same flagship program is a uh, rapid, is a fire action. It's very normal. Um, and the uh, United Nations EU spotlight initiative. It is meant to address uh, the inequalities among the genders uh, and therefore diminish the violence that emanates from that situation uh, from the dependency and the equal position of course in society and so on. Um, we would really hope in the delegation of the European Union that this would be an opportunity to see the pilot project that's a success and that it will allow to be replicated elsewhere and also allow us. Um, in the private sector to take it on. Uh, we think this should be uh, really, that's the way we would uh, really try to solve the, the problem in the, 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 the smallest of ways. Lay Luke, the home of bags, which is a skill acquisition center for the beneficiaries, has over the years churned out entrepreneurs in bag making who are doing excellently well. Mrs. Florence Chinwe, SNWA CEO Lay Luke, assures all that the Precious 12, as renamed by Her Excellency Mrs. Dolako Sibanjo, will come out in flying colors. Thank you, Madam Muda, for coming here to grace this occasion. 
And then primarily I want to thank Her Excellency, the wife of the Vice President of Nigeria, Mrs. Dolako Oshibajo, for making this day happen, for giving us 12 precious girls. <laughs> and I have to thank all the UNFPA and EU partners who have made it possible for the to so shine. Because while those girls are shining, we are shining. And like I said, I'm looking at 12 industries. I'm looking at 12 great industries. I've always believed that to eat one, eat one. Because Africa is a great continent. And they are in dire need of women to do the African Free Trade Agreement. And my dream is that I'm going to raise an army of women to do justice to that market. And I believe that at 70, that is all I have to offer. I promise you, you will not go here empty-handed. You will go here with more than what they do know. I can promise you that. At the end of the six months program, each beneficiary will receive a set of startup machines and supplies, which include industrial electrical sewing machine, industrial hand cutting machine, industrial weaving machine, a sewing table, industrial sewing kit, and a smartphone. Indeed, life gives us a second chance to be better off than where we were and to help others make a difference. No, to